Hey, welcome back to today's Photo Minute. My name is Brian Osborne from the Photo Classroom. And today I wanted to build on our first lesson about just how to correctly set up a tripod and, and just suggest a couple of things that might be a, even more helpful for just good practices with a, a, with a tripod. You might notice right now, this is what I often see on some of our trips, and, and sometimes I even don't you know, do a good job of making sure that things are level. But you can see that I got my camera level, but I did it at the risk of having my tripod kind of at an angle, and you can imagine that the steadiness, the chance of it going uh, over, I, I've caught way too many tripods as they've been falling, uh, seriously. But um, it's really important that the three legs are really a level, uh, more so than just trying to get the camera level. And so our tripods provide us a couple of options to do that. Uh, the tripod that I always recommend, uh, one of the Manfrotto's, has articulating legs. And so that allows you to adjust for uneven surfaces for the sake of making sure that the three uh, legs of the tripod are really straight up. And so one of the things I can do is I can extend this out just a little bit. And the level that's built into the tripod itself, not into the tripod head, but the level that's built into the tripod itself is really meant to guide us to making sure that we have leveled the three legs of the tripod primarily. So actually I'm plumb level right now with the three legs and then I can build on that good foundation by leveling out my tripod itself, uh, my uh, camera head itself. Uh, and, and so this is even more helpful, like if you're panning and you're trying to do a picture of a panorama and, uh, and if you're all unlevel, then as you pan then your camera's going to be going uphill or downhill and so that's the other benefit of making sure that the tripod itself, the base itself, is level. And you can do that often with articulating legs if you're on uneven surfaces. Uh, the second thing I wanted to just demonstrate for you is that most of these good tripods also have a center column that can come out at a horizontal position. Most people would use this for a macro, um, let's say photographing flowers, because it would allow you to, to splay out the legs and to get it much closer to the ground. Um, but sometimes I also use it just a button I hit on the bottom, and it allows the head to go sideways. Then I can lock it back in place. And I've also used this not only for close-up situations where I did need to get it close to the ground, but I've also used it in situations like, let's say I decide I want my camera right here, but I can't get my three legs to fit around this area because of the stump, then what I can do is actually come over this. I've, uh, I've hunted over fences before. Whatever it takes to get that camera still on the tripod but at the right position. And sometimes putting the, the center column horizontal can be very helpful in doing that. I hope these two things are just uh, helpful for you to do. Um, get out there and practice with your tripod. It's really something that all of us probably need to work on more, is just to get out there, play with it, know the best practices so that when we're in the field and uh, we don't have any accidents, number one, and that we're, when we're in the field, we have a lot better chance of um, being able to do that quickly and, and, and feel good about how we're setting it up. Hope that's helpful. Have a great day.